Do I need a delay or ready to go? Ready. No countdown. I Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our ongoing series, District Lowdown with Dr. Brown. I'm Dr. Brown, your Wellsburg City School Superintendent. And on each one of these episodes, we give an opportunity to bring some guests on to talk to you about the lowdown on a specific and unique uh, area of our school district we want to share with you. The last five minutes of each of these episodes will give an opportunity for our public to ask questions, whatever's on your mind. You, our live audience, has not, have an opportunity to participate in the conversation. And we also have this recorded, so you can also watch this on replay if that it comes to that point. Today is going to be fun. I'm really excited to get started, so let's jump right into our conversation. Today, I am incredibly enthused to welcome I mean, some, of our, some of our students to join us to talk about some of the things we're doing in our schools this summer. I have Selena, Allison, Takai, and Jaden who are joining us. And we're going to be talking about our summer employment program. Our summer maintenance work is being done under the supervision of Mr. Underwood and Mr. Hoyt, who've allowed our students to do some summer job internships, earning some credits, getting some experience, and doing a fantastic job of making our schools look even better. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we're not nervous, we're not worried. This is going to be just a conversation, right? Yes, Talk to me a little bit about what you guys are doing. Like, we'll go to each of you. You had an opportunity to participate in a summer maintenance program. Why would you want to give up your summer to do that? Um, well, I usually like painting. Like, I do painting as a hobby, but then I've also painted multiple rooms in my house, so mm -hmm. I really like doing that, and I wanted to make some extra money this summer. Okay. I like seeing, at the beginning of the school year, seeing how the schools look all nice and new compared to towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And I was going to do this last year, but because of COVID, I sadly couldn't. And I just wanted to be a part of that. Well, I expect you to brag on doing some of it as well. Okay. <laughs> um, so, for me, I had just been looking for a job for a while and haven't really found anything that looked like it might go for me during the school year. So I was just like, when I saw the email, I was just... I was like, okay, let's do it. And so far, it's been a pleasant experience. I've had to do a number of different things. Some of them are fun, some of them are, as you might expect. But the people here are cool, and the job is all right, so. Very good. It was mostly like my parents were, they saw the email and they had told me about it. The majority of the summers, I don't really do anything. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be a good idea to actually help around with others and help the building a little bit. Your parents pushed you to do that too, didn't they? Yeah, because most of the summers I don't really do much. Kudos to your parents. <laughs> um, the work that you're doing obviously is going to have an impact on all the school district. It isn't like you go into a room and you paint a corner and nobody gets to see it. You guys are doing painting in places where everybody gets to see it. And I would like to say, for everybody watching, they're doing a phenomenal job. Why do you think this type of work is important for our students in terms of um, ownership of buildings and things of that nature? We'll start on this side. I think it does teach them how to like be responsible with certain things whenever you get older after graduation, especially when like you get jobs and things like mm -hmm. with it, obviously painting. You need to make sure you get everything to where you don't mess up with people seeing it. Obviously, you need to make sure you represent what you do and mm -hmm. do it good. I would say responsibility, like he said, but I'd also like to expand on that with like teaching skills that are helpful, giving you your opportunity to first job, which helps you get other jobs. Mm -hmm. Because as I've heard from my like family, apparently getting a first job is really hard if you've never had one. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Good point. I feel like for me, it's more of a prideful thing because you have people who, because with sports and stuff, they come to this. Other schools come to this school, and if they see like a whole bunch of paint chippings on the mm -hmm. wall and stuff, they're going to be like, wow, they don't put effort into their school. Mm -hmm. But compared to if they come to a school and it's all nice and fresh, they're like, wow, this is a really nice school. They really do put effort into it. Very good. You're seeing it through the same eyes I do. I think it's more like having it look nicer makes it feel like the, I did a hard job's work. Instead of being like, oh, yeah, I painted this wall, but it doesn't really look good. You have mm -hmm. to like put all the effort you can into it and then you could be like oh look to your friends like I painted this room doesn't it look nice like how, um, like do, what do you think of it and then you could also be like next year or if you want to do the job then that's like a like a it's actually like a good thing to do if mm -hmm. you know what I mean we talked a lot about making sure we create a sense of belonging and connectedness for our students as they come to school so doing this type of work connects you directly to the building. Like you're responsible for making it look the way it does. 
Um, so we also want to make sure our kids who aren't participating in the program get an understanding that our goal is for you to own our buildings as well. We want you guys to say, hey, this is my school. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the spaces that I work in, and I want to make it something that everybody else aspires to be. So I'm, I'm really thankful for you guys taking part in doing that. Um, we have a mantra, our, our mission within our district, which is to uh, innovate the now. And um, we, we're always working on things that can help us improve what we're doing currently and get ready for things that are coming in the future. How do you feel that this work is helping you do that? this work is helping out because when we go on to future jobs later in life and they ask what our work experience is, is we can be like, oh, we were doing this sort of labor. And so they know, okay, they can do, they can get assigned a task and they can execute it, mm -hmm. which I feel like a lot of people don't know how to do. I was like adding on to that. I feel like doing this job experience will also help future jobs experience because you don't know what you're going to be in 10 years. You might be a painter for all you know and mm -hmm. you could be like, well, I've had this much painting experience. Mm -hmm. I might really do like painting instead of like going into a different career. Painting might be like what sparks joy to you mm -hmm. and what might like help you better in your future. Or even something as simple as I know I have a wall in my house that needs to be painted. I know how to do that. Yeah. yeah. Saves you money too. No question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like also along with that it, like they said it does teach you how to like be prepared for uh, other jobs but it also can help with like teaching maybe my future kids about mm -hmm. how to do this and waking up at six or five and getting ready and not slowing down basically prepares for anything in the future and helping others and uh for me it's kind of helpful because i get to help people like recently right after work i've been helping my grandma work on her bathroom a little bit uh -huh. bit by bit and painting for her and okay her, teaching her how to do it and on top of that i feel like it's great because it teaches you spending habits like i haven't even spent all of my money for my paycheck and i only used about 150 out of the 130 left over that i have so i feel like it's great because i've been able to get some of the things that i want without going flat bro mm -hmm. or have to go ask and beg and that sort of thing so does your grandma like your work um, I, tried, I, I showed her until she was just able to do it herself okay. she did like it when I did help her and she's been loving it so far so I was raised her grandma would never listen to me to do anything so kudos to your grandmother as well um, are we have any questions that are coming up from the audience quite yet we don't but I have a question um, so Dr. Brown mentioned that you guys are basically getting up super early. Can you talk about your schedules, Allison? I know you have band after this. You know, how how are you guys handling your summer schedules? Summer to me is sleeping in and watching TV. Caffeine's helpful. <laughs> Caffeine is very much helpful. But it's also helping manage my time. So it's I know when I go in for, when I go to my band rehearsals, and after, like, I'll go right after work sometimes, and I know, okay, I can't load on the responsibility of, hey, I someone needs a ride, hey, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I know that responsibility, I know not to add on extra tasks on top of my already previous responsibilities, because it helps me teach what I'm capable of and what I physically can do at the time of the day. Wow. Think about schedules in the summer. Like now, going back to when I was your age, perhaps a little bit younger, when I got my first job, I worked every single summer because I had to. Like we needed uh, money in the household to help us help uh, make ends meet, and I had to do my part. Um, you're coming from a space where a lot of folks think kids just relax and chill in the summer. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you guys are looking, if you can see what they're wearing, they are working. <laughs> they are getting it done. They're doing a fantastic job here at our school. Uh, so really proud of the work you're doing in that regard. Uh, and that you're taking it upon yourself to use your summer to not only earn money, but acquire some skills, do something good for your community and your school district, and basically put yourselves out there as leaders. We really appreciate that. What, um, can you quickly just say what year you are and what academy you belong to and um, what you are studying or what you want to study? Um, you said what grade we're going to. I'm going into 11th grade and I go to HS Square and I'm pretty sure I want to be an anesthesiologist so that's what I'm going to study for. Uh, I'm going to be a senior. I go to ESTEM and I want to study aerospace engineering. So um, I don't particularly have anything but I know I love science so I'm really just trying to like work for something there. <laughs> I'm going to 11th grade you know the following year. And I'm sort of excited, but I don't really know what's going on. Which academy? 
Which academy at East M? Okay. So. Same with these two. I'm going to 11th grade, and I am at East M. Okay. And I think I want to do maybe it has to do with engineering, like maybe software engineer, or mm -hmm. mostly in the engineering category. So while well, these kids are going to be making a whole lot more money than we do in our jobs, <laughs> and they end up doing, they're still getting it done from a standpoint of doing maintenance and painting and getting dirty and enjoying enjoying the work. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, because yeah, it's boring if you don't do anything. Yeah. yeah. So there's always something to do. Pretty much. <laughs> um, you guys are also reporting to folks. You have supervisors. Mm -hmm. So are you? You can you can tell me they're not listening. <laughs> are, you, are your bosses treating you well? Yes. Yes, 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 they are. They're super nice. Obviously, we just get mad if you're not doing anything. You're on mm -hmm. your phone, but yeah. yeah. I don't think they necessarily get mad. They just want to push you, mm -hmm. so you know, like the real working experience when you get different jobs and stuff. It's like a that. good thing they do that too, because then everyone will just be on their phones and want to do their work. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's also like a different level, so it's not like a regular boss where they're just like hovering over you the whole time. Mm -hmm. They understand that this is also like a fun thing as well so they're like hey so it's more of reminders of like hey i understand you're taking a quick little break but let's make sure we get back on mm -hmm. to it mm -hmm. outstanding well thank you guys so much for joining us do we have any questions from the audience no i think you guys actually covered all the questions that we would have outstanding um, thank you. um thank you guys so much uh, really appreciate you not only just being here today but obviously working on doing the work you're doing within the district um, I look forward to you going up to the other side of the district and we'll walk around Livingston together as some ideas for you. Um, I walked through yesterday and saw some things I, that I want to see us take care of, so I've, I'll be involved in that a little bit too. <laughs> uh, we'll also thank, uh, not only thanking my guests, but thanking you for joining us today to get some insight on the experiences that are going on in the Roseburg City School District. It's our goal to prepare our students to impact the now and to innovate the future, and it's clear that we're consistently doing that on a regular basis. Next month on the District Lowdown, we are really excited to welcome Mary Stutes from the Reynoldsburg Historical Society. Uh, we'll have a date being announced very soon, and you can catch up that not only live, but also on the replay. Um, that's going to be a really exciting conversation about some of the history right prior to the Tomato Festival coming up. We'll talk about a lot of things in regard to our, our history and our district. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with the Reynoldsburg City Schools, in the meantime, you can visit our website and obviously follow us on social media and uh, let us know your thoughts. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful afternoon.